for some. The choice of what school to send their children to isn't really a choice. So many parents wish they could give their children a better life than they had, but for one reason or another, just can't seem to escape the struggles in their lives. For many children, the dream of an excellent education, a Catholic education, remains just that, a dream. When the market turned south in 2008, many companies had to do a financial gut check. This crisis cut so deeply that we almost lost the big three automakers. Our Catholic schools didn't fare much better. It was the worst of every possible scenario because uh, the economic climate was so dire and for many of the schools in our diocese, especially those in the inner city, there was a, a fear that the schools would simply close and it wouldn't be a gradual closing, it would be a rapid closing because enrollment was falling off the table in some of our schools. As Providence would have it, right when it was most needed. The Scholarship Granting Organization of Northeast Indiana, S-G-O-N-E-I, was founded in 2011 to take advantage of this opportunity for those wishing to attend the Catholic school in the Diocese of Fort Wayne, South Bend. Since then, the SGONEI has enabled diocesan Catholic schools to award more than $4.3 million to families with need. Hearing a family who has just all summer been thinking about, well, we don't qualify for this choice scholarship because then my next step is, but I bet you qualify for SGO. Let's sit down and talk about it. So after I get with them and I show them the income guidelines, when they realize that it really is an opportunity, they, their faces do light up and they actually, when it's a husband and wife, and when they look and turn at each other, like, we can do this. Hearing that there's that opportunity, thanks to the SGO contributions, they're realizing my child really can come to the school that I want to send them to. That, to me, is the most heartwarming thing about what I get to do in my work. For, for my wife and I, uh, we, uh, we were a bit surprised that we were having triplets. The kids actually came up uh, through Fort Wayne Community Schools and we got to the high school level and Bishop Blues was a choice. We, uh, the school really won our hearts over. Uh, Mrs. Kiefer, who was principal at the time, uh, she came up and hugged me, which was a uh, I'd never been hugged by a school principal before, but uh, Bishop Lewis ended up, you know, just feeling like a family. The the SGO grant uh, was an opportunity to supplement what we could provide, and it, it really did make the difference between us being able to send them to Lures or or not send them. Uh, having the uh, assistance of the SGO program has allowed them to excel uh, in school and and now be very fruitful members of society, so. Within the walls of a Catholic school classroom, each child is challenged to grow in strength, wisdom, and faith. This unique attention to the whole person, body, mind, and spirit, bears its fruits in each child's future vocation. Yet, in many of these classrooms, over half of the students are receiving some kind of financial aid aid without which those students would not be able to attend a Catholic school. Think about it. Fewer students means less diversity, less service to the community, and in the future, fewer teachers, fewer doctors, fewer priests. So what if you could give that child their dream back? What if you could empower parents from a wide spectrum of financial backgrounds to make a Catholic education accessible to everyone. While providing a Catholic education to a child in need would be reason enough, there's another amazing benefit to donating to a SGO. For those who qualify, the state will give you half of your money back through a tax credit. This is on top of a 30% deduction you could potentially take on your federal taxes. If you were to give $1,000 as an individual to the SGO, depending on your tax bracket, you may get 30% of that back from a federal charitable deduction. And then if you had 
enough in the way of Indiana state taxes, you could get an additional $500 back from Indiana through the state tax credit. That means that the $1,000 that you gave costs you only $200. If you play that out, you could give the equivalent of, say, $3,000 and still have a lower net cost as an individual or a business than if you just gave $1,000. So be bold, think about the SGO, plan ahead, and really pray about it and make a commitment to Catholic education, not only for you, but for the children of our diocese. This is a big deal. If you're the kind of person for whom a small contribution to an SGO wouldn't break the bank, I say, let's break the bank. Let's see beyond the numbers and let's change people's lives. If you can be a hero today, together, we can enable the heroes of tomorrow.